Cat have produced some of the most rugged smartphones that are out there today, and this is no exception. The S53 can take some serious abuse. To ensure that the S53 can deal with anything that comes its way, it is compliant with IP68 and IP69K and mil-spec 810H specifications. This model is designed to be able to withstand drops onto a solid steel plate of up to 1.8 meters on every side and corner. I did quite a few drop tests with my time with this phone and you would barely be able to notice looking around the phone. Besides a few light marks, it pretty much looks like it's just come out of the box. It is also resilient to sand, dust and dirt and is also waterproof up to 1.5 meters for 35 minutes, ensuring that nothing is getting in this phone. Being 2022, I wasn't too surprised to see that there wasn't much to talk about when it comes to box contents. Other than the actual phone, you get a USB-C cable, instructions, a SIM tray tool, which is a little weird as you don't actually need this to open the tray, but can still be used, maybe if you don't have long enough nails. Taking a look around the phone, the first thing you'll probably notice is the flashlight on the top, which I'll get into later. On the right hand side, you have a power button and volume controls. On the left hand side, you have a programmable button along with the SD card and SIM tray. On the bottom is the USB-C port, headphone jack and also a handy little lanyard attachment. Finally on the back of the phone you find the camera array, main speaker and rear mounted fingerprint sensor in the centre. The S53 features a 6.5 inch LCD display with a resolution of 720 by 1600 pixels. It's not the best display out there but it's still perfectly usable for most people. Unsurprisingly this is protected by a thick pane of toughened glass which is highly scratch resistant and impact resistant. But what makes this display stand out is its brightness, which is optimised for outdoor visibility. Ideal for nature lovers and tradesmen who spend a lot of time outside. The S53 is running Android 11 out of the box and features a Qualcomm SM4350 Snapdragon processor and 6GB of RAM, which provides all of the performance and efficiency to run all of the latest apps and be able to multitask. And if you're into your mobile gaming, you'll be pleased to know that this is able to handle a lot of the latest games and I was able to get a decent FPS while playing at high graphics. The phone comes with 128GB of internal storage, which should be enough for most people, but if not, it also has an SD card tray. I'm a big fan of Sony when it comes to cameras, so I was pleasantly surprised to find out the camera on the S53 uses a 48 megapixel Sony sensor. I was lucky enough to have a nice clear day to test this camera and I was reasonably impressed with the results. While it's definitely not been the best camera out there when comparing it to some of the flagship phones, I was still able to get some nice results out of this camera. Looking at the results in more detail, I found the images to be nice and vibrant and really emphasised all the colours in the scene. However, with the 48 megapixel sensor, I was expecting the results to be a little sharper. As soon as you start to crop into the photos, you start to lose detail faster than expected. The dynamic range on this camera was pretty decent. I was able to take some images facing directly into the sun and still capture a lot of the detail in the foreground. There was also the addition of a night mode, which actually worked pretty well. The results weren't too sharp, but I'm sure this feature could still be useful in some situations. They've also included a 2 megapixel macro sensor. The results weren't too bad, however if I'm being completely honest, there wasn't much difference in taking an image on the main camera and cropping in. To summarise, if you're an avid photographer hoping to leave the main camera behind on your trips away, you may struggle with this camera. But if you're just a casual user wanting to take some snaps of friends and family, this is more than suitable. Personally, I always carry a torch on my keyring. I've always found that the torch on my phone is never that bright. Fine for trying to find something in a cupboard or find your way around a dark room, but they never usually compare well to an actual torch. However, this is not the case with the S53. In addition to the standard flashlight on the camera array that you see on most phones, the S53 has included an additional high power 120 lumens torch on the top of this phone. This honestly makes a huge difference compared to the standard 40 to 50 lumens that you would get on a standard phone. If you're someone that finds yourself in a lot of situations where you could do with a decent torch, this could be the feature that wins you over. The S53 features a huge 5500 mAh battery which can last up to two days on charge. I've been using this phone fairly heavily over the past few days and I've barely noticed the battery percentage move at all. Another bonus to this battery is that it's designed to be able to withstand extreme temperature changes. Another highlighted feature of the S53 is the huge speaker on the back of the phone, which has an output of 107 decibels. The sound coming out of the speaker certainly was nice and loud, but from my experience, I did think it was lacking some bass. However, with the placement of the speaker, there was quite a noticeable difference in volume when the screen was facing towards me compared to when it was facing away. 
So all in all, if you're a nature lover, construction worker, or maybe just someone that's very clumsy and you're after a new rugged smartphone that's not going to break the bank, this could be the phone for you. Shh.